every time, every time, every time. We tell success stories of people who made it in business. We showing the test, but life provide the quizzes. If you want to win, then you better not miss this. Because what school don't teach you is when it get real, it's intact. We all soft enough to die, who hard enough to fight until this time. I want you bad enough to search between the lines. Because folks that can't talk and still alive, they ain't real inside. They mind with no resistance, it's impossible to shine. Welcome to Preparing for Royalty. I'm your host, Devin Everytime Walls, and I'm the creator of this new TV show that takes performing artists on a journey to their destinies by giving them the success stories of prominent business figures to create music, poetry, dance, and comedy about. The content produced from this model will be distributed on the digital marketplace, as well as open up opportunities for endorsements both to the artist directly, as well as to the corporation responsible for keeping the show in production. Keeping Preparing for Royalty available to our performing artists worldwide is a cause we believe 100% of our subscribers, listeners, viewers, and streamers would hold more than near and dear to their hearts. So to make a donation, an endorsement, or to download the content you hear on today, please visit www.preparingforroyalty.com and always know your participation will be royally appreciated. Every time, every time, every time. We're going to start today's journey off by hearing the reason why no one should have an excuse as to why they can't write a business plan. Because I personally know someone that wrote 52 of them in one year. Could all those plans be the reason why this innovator has a filming studio that also has a radio station, a recording studio, multiple boardrooms, and oh yeah, an enormous concert space. We're going to talk to Brian Lund, one of the founders of St. Louis's very own Medici Media Space. But first, we're going to hear a poem that illustrates the Medici's experience from the mind of Michaela. The media age is upon us, and you might need help with your construct. Whether it's broadcasting, meeting, or film development, bring your business to Medici and we'll help you take care of it. Fine tuning your ideas in our boardrooms or listening to yourself in the sound booth, we have your answers. Just ask the questions. We're very different from what you're expecting. Hello, everyone. My name is Devin Wallace, the host of Preparing for Royalty, and I'm here with Brian Lunt, the owner of Medici Media Space. How are you doing today, Mr. Lunt? I'm doing fantastic. Thank you. Awesome. awesome. And um, I chose you to be the, the, the forerunner of my first episode because it's called Launch Test. And basically, the Launch Test is about those uh, the grunt, the grunt work that you have to put in up front in order to have a successful business that virtually is operated by uh, referrals that come through little to no effort because of how well the business is organized. And we'll get into more about a launch, a successful launch is later as we get into uh, Brian's story. Could you tell us how you came up with the concept for um, the DT Media Space? Well, it's uh, it took a few years to get it all put together, and we're still ironing out all the details, but uh, the Quick story is that I started uh, my career in banking and worked for my father for a number of years. And uh, I just got bored with what I was doing and thought there was a lot more out there and started to think up of new business concepts, new ideas, and, and other things I'd rather be doing than sitting in an office doing uh, loans or, or uh, new, new accounts. And uh, I, was, I was at the point where I just didn't really feel like banking was my calling went to my wife and, and asked her permission to take some time off and, and really explore what, what the next step would be. So I actually, uh, I, I gave myself a challenge called the Top 50 Challenge. And uh, I spent uh, 50 weeks putting together a business plan every week for, uh, you know, essentially a year. And uh, at the same time, I put together a platform called Top 50 STL, which was all about uh, spread of positivity around the city. And I highlighted the top 50 clip stories about uh, St. Louis at the time. I use that platform to really go out and network with folks, uh, tell them about my ideas, you know, figure out what it was that uh, other people's passions were and what, what drove them to, to get going in life. And so out of that, uh, uh, I ended up meeting my partner, Josh Levy, and uh, he and I started uh, getting together and 
exploring where we really lined up well and, uh, and, and could create something together. Um, we, found, we found a good match with one another and uh, he had this great space that uh, we could turn into something new and combine the space, uh, his history in owning a media company and especially his history in running large companies and then my desire to start new ones and we, we developed the model of Medici Media Space which is a collaborative group, uh, a, lot, a great community, lots of people coming together to make things happen. So I just wanted to find out about the first couple of people that decided to be members here. How did you get their interest? So what I did was I went into uh, my LinkedIn profiles and I started looking around the different business relationships that I had, people I'd met, uh, people I've known for a long time and people that I thought would be fun to work, with, work together. And I reached out to a group of people and said, I've got this idea to put a collaborative group of people together and we all work in the same space. And, you know, it took a little bit of convincing, but we got a good group together to meet on Monday morning. And we came together and strategized a lot of different things that we could do, you know, and, and the way that this new enterprise would kind of, kind of work and, and organize. Uh, it, we probably had 15, 20 people, most uh, of them I knew personally. Mm -hmm. uh, my partner had also brought in a couple of people that he knew. And, uh, and we just got started. We got started seeing where our, where our synergies were with the other people, whether we liked being around them. And we spent about a month trialing the concept and really just exploring uh, a group of people together before we asked anybody to, to join as an actual member. Um, by the time we had spent a month together with that group of people, started liking what, they were, what we were doing, and, and we had about a dozen people in the first, uh, in the first membership group. That's awesome. Can we talk about some of the projects that are going on here, like some of the specific uh, people and stuff? Is that okay? Of course. You know, when I think about people like Devert and uh, uh, Theo, mm -hmm. and, and I realize how, how awesome they treat me and you and each other, you know, how did that work out that people are just so, they, 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 they work well together so well? You know, it's, um, it's not easy. It is easy because we know exactly what we're looking for. Mm -hmm. But it's not easy to come up with uh, the right kind of profile. Mm -hmm. And we know we have a set of 10 core values, and it essentially whittles down to good people. You know, you know a good person when you see them. Yeah. And if we continually surround ourselves with good people, then it just kind of radiates from everyone else. And, uh, and I think the warmth that you receive in the community mm -hmm. from all the members, uh, it's something that we, you know, we monitor and we make sure that we've got the right people around so that it's just a natural fit. Yeah, so uh, can I ask what you thought about me, me first met me? <laughs> it was, it was, I loved it, I loved it. It, it cracked me up because you came in and you were talking more uh, about an energy company, which I know nothing about. Right. And, uh, and I wasn't quite sure what to make about that uh, business proposal because you had, um, you know, some information about the business and I mm -hmm. thought, you know, this is just, it's not something that I'm interested in or are well suited to, to gauge. Mm -hmm. And my favorite part was that you were getting a lot of attention because of the song that you had written and, and uh, performed. And we got treated to an impromptu performance by you yeah. on the spot. <laughs> and it was incredible. And what I loved about you is that you were fearless in the fact that you, we had never met. You said, I believe, internally, I think you said, I believe in my talent. And if I show these gentlemen my talent, then something special will happen. I think that's exactly what happened. So hard! In Southern and Illinois, seem like the powers that be straight be hating on our folk. They, they rob it from us through the power bill industry, literally taking what's ours, yo. The price of the power they using is pennies compared to highway robbery. So I come here to level the field with no home field advantage, emerging from poverty. And my company broke meteoric, my flow metaphoric, so they can't ignore it. Plus, I'm coming so hard from the start that it ain't hard to see. Dion Warwick, I'm rocking church clothes in the hood, telling power consumers it's time to get paid back. My tie double wizard, my words never censored, my Chrysler 300 is laid back. Suited up from the shoes to the neck, I was bouncing on my toes in the boardroom, meeting with the deal. Everybody on my board getting checks, I don't sell kilowatts, just got a better way to pay your bill. For real, you need a light bill doctor because it cannot be cured with pills. And as a rumor diagnosis, let me get your account information from you, I'ma get you healed. Just name, address, race on Email and the number you get paid on I'ma beat you if I have to use a pay phone Just to find you I'll probably throw the J's on We all good like the smell good I sprayed on Put that on the color orange I don't gotta stay long Get you 
locked in with the price you can bank on. On your way to Bible study, you can get your thanks on. And then I'ma get my praise on. Even when the whole for the advantage still made known. That the power company will have to put their brakes on. Don't you bet the system was about to get shaped on. <laughs> Truth on the beat playing, can you hear it? Fifty dollar gift cards wouldn't get near it. Go drop they request when they clear it. Kill a Price slain in the spirit. Only as soon as we show up, need your phone number to blow up. We was going hard as before, but only dollar signs that we throw up. I stay on they turf with my arm in the urn. I'm screaming they prices ain't fair. And I'm doing my dance in the street with her shoes on my feet, so police they ain't care. Every time that we show up, now they always wanna be close up. But we ain't trying to be famous, we just gonna change the world cause we grown up. I'm rocking church clothes in the hood, telling power consumers it's time to get paid back. My tie double wins her, my words never censor, my price of 300 is laid back. I'm teaching my people to be vital power charges by the kilowatt hour. And if they get more than point zero five four, then that mean that ain't better than ours. They come in our hood and they run up our bills while they give away gift cards for switching 115. I'm still out, I ain't scared of no fire, don't play in my kitchen. My ambition is going so hard, I take care of my children's as children. And they children's as children's as children's as children's as children's as children. Bring that beat back while I roll, let them know Harvey Jones is my granddad. Hear me good, the reason that I put his name in conversation, I'm the best that they say, who's that? About seven foot, never been mistook, never been no crook. Got my haters shook, read that holy book, keep a wife that cook. King, queen, rook, smarter than you look, hop out big boy truck. G'd up, with the sleeves up, gotta keep up, better read up, we about to heat up. Customers, put your feet up, from the street up, other companies leap up, get sweeped up. All my business is Tremendous. I'm out in the trenches with Christians with pensions. People that don't pay attention, I give them detentions and bounce like suspension. Only as soon as we show up, need your phone number to blow up. We was going hard as before, but only dollar signs when we throw up. I stay on their turf with my arm in the urn. I'm screaming, they prices ain't fair. And I'm doing my dance in the street with her shoes on my feet, so police they ain't care. Every time that we show up, now they always want to be close up. But we ain't trying to be famous, we just gonna change the world because we grown up. I'm rocking church clothes in the hood, telling power consumers it's time to get paid back. So I think you had uh, the cojones to, to perform on the spot, mm -hmm. show off your talent, and I really saw something special in that. And so it was, a lot. It was, a, it was a great, it was a great Medici moment mm -hmm. because you never know what's going to happen. And right. when you have a talented uh, artist come in and perform on the spot, that's just another day of Medici. It's fantastic. Awesome. So we have different uh, things going on here, like. Uh, a set that's being built um, or just just the, the ability to use things in our environment to create you know um, a setup that would look similar to a Jake Leno mm -hmm. uh, a medical office or maybe even a church scene or some some so on and so forth so that really can attract uh, people that have great visions they just don't know how they're gonna actually pull them off like myself I said hey I, can I give you my money and start filming my TV show today it was kind of like uh, that's not how it works but <laughs> you want to get to know you but yeah you, we you can do it we did, and that's, um, you know, you came in raring to go, mm -hmm. and that evening you wanted to film, and I think we would have allowed that to happen, mm -hmm. uh, because you, you seem, first impression, seemed like a good guy, but it's not really our model just to kind of let it happen immediately. We right. like to take our time, we like to get to know everybody, we really want to develop a community, and, and I don't think you can establish a community without deeper relationships, right. until you take the time to sit down with folks and really get to know them and, uh, and have a little history between two people. And if, if you're in an office space where people are walking past each other and they never say two words to one another, that's just not where I want to work. And so it's, uh, we're trying to establish a, a true community where people really enjoy being around one another. Well, there you have it. If you put your mind to it, and I'm going to go ahead and say take action, <laughs> then anything can happen. And just like Brian did it, you can do it too. Thanks for watching. We'll be right back. Would you like to increase your customer base, grow your online presence, transform the look of your brand? Let the marketing experts at Logo Graphics Design and Advertising help you hit the mark. Logo Graphics has provided marketing solutions for businesses for over 26 years. Our services include website development, marketing flyers or banners, email marketing, nonprofit outreach, social media management, and more. Contact our office to turn your ideas into solutions today. Call us at 1-800-288-9524 or email us at logographicsdna at gmail.com. Hi, my name is Phyllis O'Hara, CEO and founder of Angelo's Jewelry. This spring and summer, I will be bringing to you the Bold and the Beautiful Collection, consisting of sparkling three-piece necklace sets. Get bold and be beautiful. 
Don't miss our jewelry workshop series each weekend, teaching girls from age 6 to 18 how to express themselves by designing and creating their own unique pieces. Contact us today to register for upcoming workshops or inquire about a special gift at 314-477-3036 by email phyllisohara91 at gmail.com and on Facebook at Angelo's Jewelry. Have you ever been pressed for time? Rushing to get to that very important meeting with the big guys or trying to beat that grace period at work and finding somewhere to park is nearly impossible? You finally find a parking spot in front of the parking meter and you realize that you didn't bring any change. You happen to look over and see a homeless man sitting on the sidewalk. And for a half second, we immediately assume that the homeless person wants something from us. We snap back to reality as we check all our pockets for change because we don't want to get a parking ticket. Coincidentally, we look over and see the homeless man handing us the exact change we need for the parking meter. My new album, View From The Inside Out, was created to encourage listeners to not judge a book by its cover because sometimes it's the person that we least expect that will be the one that gives us exactly what we need when we need it. View from the Inside Out drops March 19 everywhere. And remember, integrity matters the most when you're by yourself. Pain is something we all have to live with. Aching joints, arthritis, flare-ups from injuries that we long forgot. We each deal with pain in our own way until it becomes debilitating and we need real help. Even worse are the medications with opioids, steroids, and chemical ingredients we can't even pronounce or don't even know where they come from. Do we really want to put these potentially lethal drugs into or on our bodies? Did you know that even taking simple over-the-counter medicines for pain can have dangerous side effects when mixed with certain foods or other prescriptions? It's time to leave the harmful drugs behind and use no more pain herbal blend. This blend of essential oils is 100% drug and chemical free. Massage into any joint or muscle for immediate pain relief. Don't believe it? Try it for yourself. Try it free for 30 days and if you feel it doesn't work, simply return it. If it works for you, keep it and pay just $29.99. It's simple and painless. Take the 30 day challenge and get back to being you. Call today, 650 Two seven eight four four two eight. That's six five zero two seven eight four four two eight. Or visit us on the web at beyondbeautiful.club. That's www.beyondbeautiful.club. Join the club and get back to being you. in today's journey we're going to talk to the last real estate company you'll ever need to know the creator of this business coined the phrase try all your crazy ideas and because he took his own advice he created a real estate solutions company that answers every question in the real estate experience from where do i get a notary how do i repair my credit any question in the buying and selling experience and even commercial cleaning call it crazy insane or insanely genius either way family real estate solutions has it all we're gonna go talk to Darrell Washington. But first, let's hear a poem that illustrates his business from the mind of Michaela. Reaching the hearts of the community through real estate prosperity, as well as philanthropic acts, by combining the entrepreneur mindset with time, honor, loving kindness, we offer the full service needed for all of your real estate solutions, passionately. And since there is no I in our name, everyone is welcome in our family. Welcome back to Preparing for Royalty. I'm your host, Devin Walls, and I'm here with Darrell Washington. Hey. How you doing, man? Good, good. Good to finally catch up with you. Right, we always busy. I know, that's right. So there's three things that you always uh, cover before you launch a new business. Right. What are those three things? I'm not going to any business, and I'm looking at it, and I'm thinking that, hey, this could make me some money, or this could be successful. One, I first decide that I'm going to be successful in it. 
And that commitment to just saying that I'm gonna do it is big because uh, it's a mental thing. It's a mental thing, just saying it out loud, writing it down, I'm gonna be successful in this business. Two, understand it's not gonna be easy. It's, it's not gonna happen overnight. You're not gonna be Donald Trump tomorrow. It's gonna come with woes, you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And three, the one of the most important things is uh, deciding who's gonna be a part of your business as early as possible. As fast as you can, decide on who's gonna be there, who's gonna be your team. And if there's somebody who you care about or somebody who you want to be a part of, they decide that they don't want to be a part of it, be okay with it. Mm -hmm. Be perfectly fine. Don't hold, don't hold it personal, but at least you got that concrete evidence, that concrete uh, decision that they're not down with you as early as possible. So why real estate? Real estate uh, found me. I, I can't just say I went out and said I'm going to be the next real estate guru. Um, I saw opportunity once and it was a car wash. A abandoned car wash and I, I bought it from an auction for $700 uh, some money from a check that I just said hey I'm gonna risk it uh, two weeks later I sold for $7,000 and then I said hey this is me and <laughs> this is what I'm doing for the rest of my life and ever since then I just grow on and I'm adding on to it and I'm adding new services mm -hmm. and I said, so uh, sometimes your passion finds you and you don't have a choice it works for you you continue it if it works don't change it
Welcome to Family Real Estate Solutions, where there's no I in family. We are a one-stop shop for many of your real estate needs. Looking to sell your unwanted home fast? We'll make an all-cash offer on the spot and close within 30 days, no hassle. Or maybe you're looking to buy an investment property. We offer many at below wholesale prices. We also offer mobile notary services, home inspections, and many other services for your real estate needs. Feel free to browse our site and contact us anytime. Got questions? Call or text us at 618-531-2266. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. Every time. If your credit hurt, I do credit work. Come to credit work. You'll see that it work. If your credit hurt, I do credit work. Come to credit work. You'll see that it work. They call me the surgeon of credit. The work that I do known as credit for surgery. I remove students on bankruptcy credit for medical time. They call me the surgeon of credit, the work that I do known as credit for surgery. I remove student loan bankruptcy credit for medical time. I'm pursuing you work with me. What them credit bureaus search, no need to guess on that. Just call credit word. That's why right, I stress on that. Like ain't no I in family, ain't no S on that. It's just credit word. You can rest on that. It look good outside. Tired of being inside. Since my credit ride, I'ma buy a brand new ride. The odds of me getting that whip is up, so I'm telling the dealer the jig is up. I take delivery now, I come pick it up. Credit work, do repair, they don't just fix it up. Tits on that, rims on that. Ones that spins on that, fins, cash less, wins on that. Now my friends want that, 12's on this, 10's on that. Face not slim on that, face keeps the grin on that. Credit work, don't in on that. If your credit hurt, I do credit work. Come to credit work. Hey, I bring to you DOC Disciples of Christ Ministries. We are dedicated to the advancement of God's kingdom by bringing our people closer to Christ. We are proving ways to effectively commit scripture to memory. If you want to memorize biblical text but are not sure what to memorize or how, the SOAP study is perfect for you. The SOAP method, scripture, observation, application, prayer, is the perfect launching point to begin hiding God's word in your heart. This user-friendly and godly inspired gift will give you thought starters to encourage you and others on your spiritual journey, bringing you intrinsic, extrinsic, and most importantly, eternal value. For more information, you may contact us today at 314-449-1337. Receive a free Bible with your order today. The Dynasty Media Portal is a media distribution platform reflecting multiple genres of music, film, and special events via radio, television, and online streaming. Advertisers and content generators are connected to a combined listening audience of over 14 million viewers with any single piece of content. It's unlimited access for your organization or business through digital and social media marketing. Contact us at 1-800-288-9524 or email us at dynastytelevision at gmail.com. Visit www.dynastytelevisionmediaportal.com and experience what it means to be destined for Dynasty.
Coming to the stage, y'all, I want you to put your hands together right now. Start clapping. Give it up for them. Give it up for them. I want you guys to make it feel real welcome. Put your hands together for Michelle. relationship with God, you know what I'm saying? It's like critical time, so you can't afford to not be in a relationship with God. Amen. Amen. You, you really I love the church, the shingles. Y'all gotta forgive me because I ran out the house and I forgot to say my ADD medicine. So this could go a whole lot of different ways up here. The cart could get away from the horse, so I'm just laying on front. I got a first thing on the menu that they need to do for us, for black folks, is um, we need a rip tip plate. I'm just saying. <laughs> I think we need a rip tip plate um, on the menu of Starbucks. That would help us feel validated for what went on. Because it just it wasn't right. It wasn't right. Uh, a friend, I'ma just go on in. She was like, uh-huh. Where are you going? I was like, well, I'm gonna try to. I thought this was gonna do a game of one-on-one. -on -one. She's like, where are you going? I'm like, nah, come on back. Nope. I'm 20 wounds. 19. Oh, the devil is alive. Oh, no, 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 no. When y'all see big people out of breath, don't talk to us. Don't talk to us. Every person in here know what it's like to go up a flight of steps. When you get to the top of the flight of steps, you be like. <laughs> Did you get the call? All right, where, where, where are my married couples at? Where the married folks at? Make some noise. Now stop, 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 stop. Boo. Boo. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I fail to mention that I got my master's degree at Petty University? Sorry. Let me just insert this. Today's a day. Today's a good day to trust God. That's right. Amen. I'm going to just say it one more time. Today's a good day. Y'all say it with me. Y'all go. Y'all go. Say it. Today is a good day to trust God. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Our next stop along this journey answers that question of now that I got this great business idea, what do I do next? I take action. Or what if I don't have a great business idea, but I always knew I was born to be an entrepreneur? Allow us to introduce you to Lisa Jenkins. Not only is she the creator of the Take Action Success Seminars that happens twice a year, but she's also a real life success coach. Because when it comes down to implementing that business plan or coming up with the inspiration to just get one started, you have to start somewhere and take action. superlative in our positive outlook training you will succeed having the right mindset is all you need a take action seminar will take your business to new levels you'll see remembering our cardinal rule positivity is the key glory music welcome back everyone i'm devin walls with preparing for royalty and i'm here with lisa jenkins the founder of Take Action Success Seminars. How are you today? I am doing awesome. <laughs> good, good. Well, I guess maybe I'm a little um, nervous because you're a life coach. Yeah? Yeah, we're gonna talk about me today. That's good, <laughs> we are. <laughs> yeah, and we're also gonna talk about your company and some of your visions as mm -hmm. well. And so, um, tell us a little bit about Take Action Success Seminars. So, Take Action Success Seminars was built to highlight people. You know, it's all about developing people and what um, we're bringing to, to the universe, to the world, right? Everybody has a unique gift. Everybody has value. What we want to do is we want to make that shine. But not only shine, we want to have breakthroughs with people during these seminars. We really want to help people take action and go to the next level in their life. That's really cool. It really is, and I, I see that this has been very successful for you. Mm -hmm. Is yeah. the success fun? Is it overwhelming? Um, so success means a lot of things. Mm -hmm. So success travels in different levels, and for me, success is hard. 
So anybody that tells you that success is easy and if you keep your eye on the ball and just keep moving, things will fall into place the way that it was meant to be. And I just don't believe that. I mean, you've got to wake up every day with intention to grow and intention to build something great. And it is difficult. I mean, building a business and processing the things that need to happen inside of a business are hard. Yeah, that's what this episode is about. Mm -hmm. And it's so right on time for uh, our, our subscribers, our followers, as well as us ourselves, because we're all in business. Mm -hmm. And so we're talking about the launch test, the things that you'll have to do to launch a really massive business. So you're covering the fact that, yes, it is difficult. And we mm -hmm. want people to know that if you overcome that test, that there is a reward in that. There is a reward. Yeah. And sometimes your reward can change. Sometimes you start out with one vision and one plan and you end up in a whole different place. But mm -hmm. the idea is to let God guide you in the, the right direction, to just make sure you go to him with all the things that you need and make sure that you're moving in that direction every single day. Mm -hmm. And like I said, you may start in one place and end up in another. The biggest thing is don't try to control that. Like so many people try to control that on every day and you don't know what's gonna happen from day to day. That's exactly right. Mm -hmm. So when I met you, I was into this energy company and I was working on a TV show, uh, learning how to be uh, the leader of a corporation so that way this TV show could be really successful and then I've been a musician since I was five years old and I remember you saying without really knowing me Devin I'm gonna help you get your music out there and whatever you need to accomplish mm -hmm. with your music that's what I want to do with you and I was like you know looking back on that recently knowing that we were gonna get into an interview I thought about how thoughtful that was because that is where all of my passion is it's like yeah I want to be a TV host and I'm learning and yeah I like that energy company it's really awesome and um, a lot of the things that I'm doing, I'm really excited about, but really it's the music. And, and so, uh, how, how did you pick up on that? Um, because your passion, it, mm -hmm. to me, it doesn't really matter what you do or who you are. It's the passion that drives things. So when you're passionate about that one thing or just a few things, it's like passion breeds energy and energy breeds, okay, we need to take action. We need to make some things happen. And how dare me try to change who you are? And I remember that when you came into that room that day and everybody had their different thoughts about what you should do and how you should do it. And my thoughts were, I'm not going to tell you what you should do. I want to know what you want to do and I'll help you get there. Yes, there's a lot of different ideas and there's a lot of different things that you could do different to leverage what you're trying to do. But mm -hmm. why try to change who you are? Thank you. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to shake your hand on that. <laughs> and we're going to... Uh, interlude right into this song that I wrote that's uh, called the Take Action Anthem. Mm -hmm. And I, I really actually love this song, um, how I was able to just put me so, so far into it. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Put myself so far into it. And that's, that's what I encourage anyone that's a part of your success seminars to do is take their business and, and utilize the, the, the paradigms that Take Action Success is all about mm -hmm. for their specific individualized business. That was your vision for it anyway, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So without further ado, this is Take Action.
So that was Take Action, uh, the anthem of Take Action. So what do you think about that? I think it's amazing. And here's what I want to, I want to, more than what your passion is on that song is what are the words. So as I'm listening to it, because as you performed it at the seminar, at the Take Action seminar, mm -hmm. the, it, it impressed everybody that was out there. And I wonder if they really listened to the words. And as right. I'm listening to the words right now and I'm able to actually take that in, there are con there's a lot of stuff in there that I think people should pay attention to. It doesn't matter what you came from. Like, people don't know. All these people who tell you that you can't do this and that you're not going to do this and that you're not going to do that, they don't know where you came from. They don't know what the experiences in life are that you had. No different than mine. People would not believe the, the stuff I've been through while I was growing up mm -hmm. and why I'm so passionate about doing the things that I am now. Right. But yet they're eager to give me their opinions based on something that they've been through in their life and it doesn't matter. Nobody knows from the inside what we're really built for. One right. person. That's right. You know? That is really awesome. I love it. I'm ready to take that song to the top. I'm ready to do a whole lot of stuff with it. I think it's amazing. Well, I, I say um, that I am ready to take action with you. Mm -hmm. And we're going to all take action together. Your hopes, your dreams, your aspirations, we want to hear from you. Mm -hmm. This is a call to action. Uh, look us up on Facebook at Preparing for Royalty. And also look up the Take Action community. How can they find you? So you can find me on Facebook, just Lisa, just um, look me up at Lisa Jenkins or the Take Action community. Right. So my first name is spelled L-E-I-S-A and um, we are going through a whole new branding shift. So as soon as <laughs> we get everything ready, it'll be a lot easier to find me. But right now I would just friend me on Facebook mm -hmm. and you can Google Lisa Jenkins. Again, it's L-E-I-S-A and find out all the information that you want to know about me. Absolutely. Well, uh, I always give people the royalty stamp of approval and let them know that they're royalty approved. Um, I actually could have gave Lisa her royalty stamp of approval at the very beginning because yeah. I already know what you're doing is a massive thing and mm -hmm. we're behind you 100%. When is your next your next seminar? So we are doing um, some shifts and again we're rebranding and we're leveraging what we have currently. So I think that we're going to do an event in December but we will have something on the calendar by the end of the week. Okay. So we're figuring that out right now. As anything, just like we talked about in the beginning, building a business is hard and you're always going to go through these um, things where you have to shift gears and you have to move positions on some things. And when we did the first two take action events, we realized that there was so much more to it and there's more things that we could do. So I made a calculated choice and I said, okay, I need to regroup. I need to pull my team together and I need to get some sound thoughts on what we can do and really leverage and excel what Take Action is all about. So doing that, we needed more than three months to make that happen. Okay. So now we're going to um, do an event hopefully in six months and sure. really accelerate what Take Action is all about. Well, we'll definitely go ahead and put some contact information and uh, the, the dates at the bottom of the screen once this episode airs so that way mm -hmm. people can know about what's coming up in December in the month that we mm -hmm. start our TV show. So, mm -hmm. you know, we'll just keep on plugging each other and we'll keep on taking action together. Thank you yes. so much, Lisa. Thank you. <laughs> and you stay tuned. We'll be right back. Wow, I'm a lucky man. She is the light of my life. And as fine as a Georgia pine. Good God from Zion. She's truly been a blessing. So what am I afraid of? I mean, she's perfect in every way. I love her. Yeah, I need to do the right thing. I'm gonna do the right thing. Yeah, it's time.
My man is fine. He even looks better in the morning. Mm, mm, mm. I love him so much. Although he's not perfect, I accept him for who he is, and I'll support him in every area. I'll be there for him till death do us part. Excuse me? How do you know Chris? You must be Diana. Hi, I'm Roz McCarthy, CEO founder of Minorities for Medical Marijuana. Minorities for Medical Marijuana is a nonprofit advocacy, outreach, and education organization based in Orlando, Florida. Our focus is making sure that minorities have an opportunity in the new legalization of marijuana throughout the country. We're in South Carolina, we're in Missouri, Illinois, New York, New Jersey, Texas. Arizona. Our organization was formed to make sure that individuals, people of color, people uh, um, coming from communities of color have an opportunity to be able to participate in the legalization of cannabis in the United States. If you're tired of wandering in the wilderness of obesity, God is ready to usher you into the promised land of healthy and fit for life. Eating as an Act of Worship Ministries is a nonprofit organization dedicated to teaching the biblical principles for maintaining a healthy body for the glory of God. Join our free 12-week course for both adults and children online via Periscope or at New Calvary Temple Kojic, located at 1120 Bishop Lindsay Avenue in North Little Rock, Arkansas. No registration fees or membership fees, just the purchase of the Eating as an Act of Worship workbook. So sign up today. To register, visit our website at www.eatingasanactofworshipministries.org and tune in to our Saturday morning radio show at 11 o'clock a.m. Central Time on Studio W Buzz. today's journey, we're going to find out how a clothing retailer has mastered every element in the Launch Test Royal Handbook because they have retail stores all the way from the New England states down here to East St. Louis, Illinois. Our co-host, Ali C., always has the privilege of doing our Royal Finale in promotion of her show, Now You Know. But I know you didn't think we were going into DTLR without hearing from the mind of Michaela, and she does her poem about the DTLR brand for worldwide fans called From the Shoes Up. Extremely intricate designs that make your Monday through Sunday's best sublime. Distinction in fabric so timeless. A splendid outfit and ensemble designed at its finest. So Things in life are made to be more than what we can hope for. Enlist DTLR and know that your wardrobe will go. So hard! DTLR! And every time. DTLR! From the shoes up to the fitted, I'm superlative. Cool to have a shirt and leave. Put them through a being conservative. 
Cause everything matching Whoa. isn't perfect. From the shoes up to the fitted, I'm superlative. I'm from a royal heritage. That's why I'm so prepared for this. Hey, listen to this narrative. This is Ali C here with a segment of And Now You Know, um, in cahoots with Prepare for Royalty, and I am speaking with Mr. Lindell of DTLR. I'm just the manager. Okay. Well, we, okay. we are corporate owned, okay. Okay. Um, but a lot of people think that we are, you know, privately owned because we're the only two stores, this store in Hall's Ferry, mm -hmm. the only two stores in, in St. Louis and East St. Louis area, but we are corporate owned based out of Hall's Ferry. Okay, and so you mentioned that we do have locations right on Hall's Ferry. Mm -hmm. Hall's, um, Hall's Ferry and 270. Hall's Ferry and 270. I'm familiar with the area. <coughs> and then we have this. So how long have we been at the East St. Louis location? East St. Louis, we've been here about five years. Okay. Uh, we've been in we've been in St. Louis about six years. East St. Louis five years. Okay. Okay. So do you guys have any upcoming projects as far as like expanding the branches outside of St. Louis and and, and East St. Louis? Or are we going anywhere else? Well, like I said, we are corporate. Also, uh, based out of Baltimore, we have the DMV. We have 120 stores. So uh, we have stores heavy in Atlanta. There's about 15 stores in Atlanta, about 15 stores in Florida, uh, 12 stores in Chicago. How does one become a manager? Like, how did the seat fit? Like, okay, not so much a seat fit, but right. the fact that are you going to be in, put in a position to where you can start scouting locations, or is it just solely up, up to corporate to start getting those locations open? You know what's interesting about that, and a lot of people don't know, is that. Um, a lot of times it's based on our vendors. So, of course, we would love to have you know, five, ten stores here, but everything is based on our Nike account. Okay. Um, so okay. we would have to secure a Nike account and have it approved by Nike Jordan before we can actually open up. Gotcha. Okay, that works out. So when it comes to just centering things just based off of the location, how does things work from a community standpoint? Like, how heavily involved is DTRL um, in the St. Louis County, North County, or just St. Louis City as well as East St. Louis? How involved? We're, I mean, we're very involved. We, um, this is our fourth year. We've been open five years in this area. This is our fourth year participating in the Mayday, Annie Malone Mayday Parade. Okay. So last year we won um, second place. This year we won second place in the parade. Uh, we also do, each year we do Easter haircuts. Uh, we do back to school haircuts. So this year, a couple of weeks ago, we actually had Head and Zoo, um, four of our top barbers in East St. Louis cutting hair. We also had the same event in Oxford. So we do that every back to school, uh, give away school supplies. So uh, we still Stay actively involved. Without the community, it's no us. Yes, that's, I totally that's how agree. We, that's how we address I that. I totally agree. Do you have any upcoming projects that we should be looking for? Anything that you want me to pitch out, spread the word for? Well, I mean, just that we're we're open. We're, like, here. we're here. We're waiting on we're you. We're here. You um, heard it. I mean, he said, yeah, we're, we're, here. we're waiting on you. So <laughs> can't wait to see. You. That's it. Uh, I mean, back to, uh, now that we're through back to school, I mean, okay. we're getting ready for Thanksgiving and the holiday. So, um, our goal is to bring in um, a, a food, a food drive and okay. toy drive. And you're going to most definitely keep me posted. Yeah, definitely, definitely. On that. Yeah. Because I want to be able yeah. to capture Between that Between most moment. stores, yeah. And Shantae is over at Hall's Ferry. That's the manager over there. Shantae, I'm coming for yeah. you, too. Hall's so, Ferry don't you fret. Yeah. She'll be ready for you, too. <laughs> but yeah, that's, that's what's coming up next. Uh, other than that, I mean, it's... Shoes, 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 Jordans, you know, every other weekend. So, I mean, that's about it. Crowd wise, like, I know you get a chance to meet some of the most interesting people because I was looking at your, your collection mm -hmm. and how, how is it that, that? Is that one of the, those other things that corporate has a chance? Like, does it, do they cater towards the, you know, the target area that they're in? Yeah, I mean, or, it's, we're, we're basically central. Uh, located in in urban areas, okay. you know. Okay. So, and when I say urban, I mean it's not it's not a black thing. No, I mean, it's because not. Everybody's it's wearing not Jordans. Thing. Everybody's yep. wearing the brands that we mm -hmm. carry. So, I mean, um, even at all the sneaker shows, I mean, the ratio, the demographic there, black and white, is about fifty fifty. So, I mean, uh, we just cater to what's ever in our neighborhoods. Okay. So, what's hot right now outside of Jordan? Outside of Jordan. Outside of Jordan. Outside of. It happened to be Adidas. I mean, Adidas is, is Adidas is jumping. Feli's back. Yeah, you I'm know, so uh, happy. The only for thing, 
the old school yeah. feel. Like that's, I'm a Felize, I'm the, I'm the Griffies, I'm, yeah. the, I'm the Princess Reeboks type girls. And so when I right. see things like that, it's like you can't go into like a traditional foot locker or foot In action. Like this is yeah. where you come to get that old school fashion, like to get that feel, that that 1980s b-boy, you know, right, shell toe Adidas look. Like you can only get those looks in stores like this. So if you're looking for it, DTRL is not only in East St. Louis, St. Louis too. Right. DTL are your fashion, your lifestyle. <laughs>